Well, the Aditya L1 satellite, India's inaugural space-based solar observatory, is reaching or rather arrived at its designated orbit as informed by the Indian Space Research Organization that the satellite is almost there as they in fact try to go through the crucial maneuvers. Prime Minister Modi has in fact uh, given out a tweet on it. India creates yet another landmark. India's first solar observatory, Aditya L1, reaches its destination. It is a testament to the relentless dedication of our scientists in realizing among the most complex and intricate space mission. I join the nation in applauding this extraordinary feat. We will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefit of humanity. So now the question that we've been asking is what next for the Aditya L1 after reaching the Lagrange point? Uh, what is it uh, going to do with regards to its scientific uh, equipment on it? Well, the Aditya L1 is anticipated to remain there for the next five years and is situated at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The Aditya L1 satellite launched from Sriharikota on September 2nd will execute crucial maneuvers upon reaching L1. Now, this maneuver is aimed at establishing a stable orbit and this maneuver as the crucial maneuver into which we have just now reached that orbital maneuver that has been taken and has successfully been placed at that large range point. So the ISRO has also in fact uh, go ahead, gone ahead and uh, tweeted it out. ISRO has said that Aditya L1 has successfully been inserted into the lag range point. The lag range point is a region where gravity between Earth and the Sun will neutralize uh, but not absolutely neutralize it because there are other heavenly bodies that are there such as the Moon, Mars and Venus and the gravitational influence of these bodies are going to be there. So uh, Aditya L1 has had uh, a payload of scientific instruments to observe the Sun. Uh, it is uh, being considered as a very ambitious project on the part of ISRO, but uh, it was something that ISRO wanted to ensure that it carried out with. There have been series of successes with ISRO. Recently, on New Year's Day, you had ISRO launching the satellite to study black hole phenomenon, and that was also placed in the right orbit. We are joined in by Professor Supriya Kar, Department of Physics and Astrophysics from Delhi University. Uh, Professor, how do you in fact see the insertion of the orbit for L1 Aditya and uh, what are we going to expect or what are the kind of scientific data we are going to expect from Aditya L1? In my opinion, this mission is successful. Today we are going to place the Aditya L1 into the halo orbit. And at the Lagrange point. And uh, so uh, what we expect is the study of solar system, solar atmosphere, and in particular, the coronal heating and uh, uh, various magnetospheres and uh, this chromo uh, chromospheres, photospheres, all those things. There are seven payloads and they will be explored. Various uh, scientific observations uh, at uh, L1 point. Well, also, when we look at uh, this particular aspect from ISRO, it has been trying to, in fact, move away from just being a satellite uh, launch uh, institution. It is now going for an exploratory approach, trying to add to the scientific information as such. Do you think that was this was a very ambitious project that they tried to execute? It has to be ambitious. Uh, yes, they are ambitious project, but when you aim, you can succeed also. So plenty of uh, future projects are there, like uh, NASA is there, uh, this NASA and ISRO, ISA, uh, that is one project. Then other than that, we are running with Gaganyaan, Chandrayaan 4 and so on. So yes, they need to be ambitious and it is very challenging also. And we as Indians or ISRO can do, uh, perform uh, well. So, we believe in that. Also, uh, when we come to this particular project, the Aditya L1, uh, why is it difficult to actually study the sun? It's the nearest star. We have, you know, the James Webb that's looking into the infrared stream and trying to understand the ancient galaxies. But this star being very closest to it has always been a challenge for astrophysicists to study because it's being said that instruments cannot last too long 
when it comes to studying the sun. Is that true? Yes, that is true. We are in, in this mission, we have reached 0.1% uh, of the, or 1% we can say maximum. So we cannot go very close to sun because of the temperature is very high. But the point alone where this uh, satellite is placed, it is a halogen means uh, without any obstructions, one can observe 24 uh, 365 24 hours uh, the sun okay so it's it's a uh, it uh, challenging project uh, but this is good enough also to study sun the sun is a uh, powerful source of energy once we study sun well then we can understand we can have uh, we can uh, get through the shortage of energy and so on so uh you were talking about the data that this particular satellite could actually provide. You were talking about the study of the coronal sphere. Uh, what are the mysteries that you would personally would like to, in fact, uh, get from that data uh, with the study of the sun? The first thing is the uh, source of energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's an enormous source of energy. We are studying very little of it. So once we know it, for example, we are studying, say, electricity is the energy, source of energy, and then uh, magnetic Mag magnetism also source of energy. Similarly, sun is all another source of energy. The other thing is that there are various filtration layers. Uh, to the when sun rays come to Earth, we filter various particles. Cosmologies uh, developed on the, the study of uh, cosmos, and uh, various rays are obstructed. So when you when you go up and without any obstruction, we can study them. And they will be useful to our research and, uh, and future aspects of science. Well, also there were talks about how the plasma nature of the uh, study is also being looked into with a lot of interest. Uh, they want to, in fact, understand as to how the uh, plasma part of it, in fact, works. Now, you know, we are not big uh, people who know too much of science, but can you just explain to me why is that uh, study critical? You are talking about plasma? Plasma, yes. Study of plasma. Yes. Plasma is the ionized. When the electron is ionized, it is okay. a, uh, a fluid actually. It's, okay. a, it's also called the fourth state of matter. Uh, so, uh, lots of activities are going on to study this uh, plasma. And because it is intermediate state between liquid and uh, uh, gas. So, uh, okay. And uh, then uh, one more aspect of it is what uh, future studies can we do when it comes to ISRO? What do you think that ISRO should now be focusing on? We have a study of the moon, in fact, going on. We have one with regards to Mars. Uh, but I think they have a program to launch one towards Venus. Do you think uh, Venus should be the other big thing that we should look forward to? Yes. Uh, Venus is another uh, new thing, challenging project. In addition to this, uh, there are many other projects also. In, uh, starting from this year, uh, and it goes, I was reading, it, is, it goes up to 2035. So various uh, Gaganyan and uh, various uh, Chandra, Chandrayaan port, uh, then uh, Nisar and so on. Well, thank you, Professor Supriyakar, for in fact uh, speaking to News 9. Uh, that was Supriyakar, who was from the Department of Physics and Astrophysics in Delhi University, who was on us. And of course, congratulations to ISRO as they place uh, the Aditya L1. Uh, we have uh, more uh, tweets coming in congratulating ISRO over it. Uh, we have uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh uh, also who has tweeted it. He says, uh, from moonwalk to sun dance, what a glorious turn of year for Bharat under the visionary leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Yet another success story scripted by Team ISRO, Aditya L1 reaches the final orbit to discover the mysteries of the Sun-Earth connection. Well, uh, let me in fact uh, get you that the ISRO has been able to successfully place the Aditya L1 in the Lagrange point is an orbit uh, between Earth and the Sun where it said that uh, gravity is technically neutralized and it would have a unhindered view of the Sun. There are almost seven to eight uh, scientific instruments on the Aditya L1 mission. 
a lot of people are trying to in fact understand some of the mysteries of the sun especially when it came to plasma formation as well as uh, the coronal heating uh, these are some of the uh, issues that they want to in fact learn uh, it is an ambitious project and isro has been able to put another feather in its cap